cleaning the mess from central streets. Local business people are opening up their doors for cardboard to be stored before it's recycled. The City Council contracts for the broken down boxes to be collected twice a week within the city. But there's a general feeling that more can be done. Currently the only council recycling service is the cardboard collection service from curbside. Uh, that's the only service that council provides. Piles of cardboard on central footpaths are considered to be an eyesore for visitors. Council staff have approached retailers encouraging them to help keep boxes off the streets. Those at the Octagon night and day were the first to respond, opening their back doors so recycling from other businesses can be stored. When we were able to find a, a solution, uh, I, was, I was more than happy to help out. And um, Reading, we're pretty good, you know, it's a good community in the Octagon and I was willing to help out with uh, Reading and I probably have a little bit more space for someone else. Council staff are now working on establishing more cardboard drop-off points around the CBD. Another two businesses have signed up, but Irvine says more needs to be involved for the scheme to have a significant impact. Ideally the place we want to be is to get the material off of curbside altogether and take it to a location, you know, whether it's a car park behind their business or a serviceable area. Not all businesses have them, so we're really asking for everybody to work together. Both council staff and business owners are seeing an improvement in the tidiness of the octagon. The recycling initiative is one that both parties are keen to see expand throughout more of the central city. Annabelle Dick, 39 Dunedin News.